If you've been holding yourself back, it's time to put a stop to it. Nobody can get in the way of your life as much as you can. You might blame it on other people, you might blame it on circumstance, but ultimately you have the ability to decide. And if you're in a place right now where you know that you're in your own way, that you are your own greatest enemy, well, congratulations. That's a lot better than blaming circumstance and blaming the people around you. You've stepped it up a notch and you've said, you know what? My life is in my hands and I can decide how I'm going to live and what results I'm going to get based on the actions that I put in every single day. I'm taking responsibility here. So the fact that you're even thinking like this is already a step in the right direction. But next, we need to think about whether or not we might be carrying some unnecessary baggage in the form of expectations and obligations. Maybe people have asked you to do certain things, maybe you've committed to things that you shouldn't have, or maybe mentally you're holding yourself to a standard or a goal that you really don't need to achieve or live up to you probably have imposed boundaries on yourself and other people have created certain rules that you should live by or certain things that you need to do in order to meet their standards and make them happy. Well, it doesn't have to be like that. It's okay to let some people down. In fact, it's bound to happen throughout your life that some people, they just won't like you, they won't be happy with you, they won't like the things that you're doing with your life, great. They're not supposed to, you're supposed to. If you're going to bed at night and you have this little nagging voice in the back of your head that you're not doing what you know you should be doing, it's probably because somebody convinced you to buy into their agenda and their principles and their ideals. Why? You decide what's right for you. Question everything that you've been taught by other people and really look at and examine whether or not it's serving you. Is this helping you progress and moving you forward in your life or is it creating stagnation and frustration? Now this goes hand in hand with using flow instead of pressure. If you're telling yourself that you should do this, you should do that, then you're shoulding all over yourself and uh, it doesn't smell very nice, sorry. So please stop being this way where you try to guilt trip your way to doing the right thing. Stop trying to manipulate yourself when really all you need to do is find the fun. Discover what you like about the process that you need to do. How can you enjoy the road to where you're trying to go instead of feeling like shit the whole time and shoulding and saying, come on, you gotta do it because if you don't, and now you're trying to motivate yourself with pain, pushing and forcing instead of just letting things come naturally. What if it didn't have to be so difficult? What if you're making it difficult and you just don't realize and you're creating this limitation and making your journey way less enjoyable than it has the potential to be? Makes no sense, right? yet we do it to ourselves every day. I know that I did. I found the things that were frustrating, amplified them, and made my business more difficult than it needed to be, especially in the early stages. And what I realized was, well, you can outsource a lot of the things that you don't wanna do. You know, you can also just learn different skill sets that will give you a way around the problem instead of actually having to deal with it every day. You can find a different solution and optimize for what makes you happy and what you enjoy so that that way, you're experiencing flow every day because if there's ease and you're not creating resistance then all of a sudden whatever goal you're trying to achieve becomes that much more attainable i also need you to take a look at whether or not you identify as a perfectionist or anything even remotely close because this is a toxic way of trying to make yourself feel like you have really high standards and what ends up happening is instead of you completing work and progressing or practicing whatever you need to practice, what ends up happening is that you're really just looping yourself in a constant spiral of this isn't good enough and I'm not good enough. And it ends up being mental self-harm. Being a perfectionist is not cool. You trying to make whatever you're doing better and better and better and it's never good enough does not make you a great artist or business person or whatever industry or niche that you're in, it doesn't matter because if you're creating this full sense of I need to be perfect, then what you're really telling yourself is 
I need to subjectively believe that what I'm producing is perfect. And you're probably wrong because you're most likely not the person who consumes what you produce or actually benefits from it, right? You're hopefully making an impact on other people or whatever you're doing, you're making some kind of impact on someone else. So what does it really even matter what you think? And then you have the audacity to start thinking, well, I know what people will think of this before you've even put it out, before you've even delivered. What? This is nonsense. And it's just making things really difficult for you where it could be much, much simpler if you just allowed yourself to put down your goddamn guard, your mental block, and stop telling yourself that it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Maybe you've been taught that and indoctrinated that it always needs to be better, that no matter what you do, it's never good enough. Well, it's time to let that go. It's time to release that belief. And really, it's going to feel liberating because if you just create, if you just produce, if you just do whatever it is that you need to do over and over, you get really good and it becomes better and better and better and more people will like it over time and it will have a better impact over time. But if you keep telling yourself that it needs to be perfect, it never will be because it's a subjective way to measure that you can never really match up to. There's no way you win that game. You're playing an unwinnable game and then you're frustrated when you don't see victory. It's never going to come around because even if it does, it's false. It just means that you bought into the idea and now you're saying, yeah, this is perfect. Well, okay, great. You made that up. Instead, what I want you to do is start using intention and then quick execution and follow through. Just think about what you're trying to do. Think about the ideal outcome that you want and then what do I need to do in order to make that happen? See, if you move from this position, it's a lot more likely that you'll find results and that you'll get better and that you'll progress. Now, if you wanna progress even faster, if you want every area of your life to improve and you want me to support you personally, one-on-one, -on -one, then jump over to eraphael.com. Over there, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me directly. We'll talk, see how I might be able to help you and if we're a good fit then I'll be coaching you every single week, holding you accountable to your goals, pushing you to really become your best self instead of you trying to figure it out all on your own. You can skip a lot of time and frustration if you just get the right help. And if you wanna work with me, again, just go to eraphael.com and sign up for the call there. The link is in the description, by the way. Finally, I wanna ask you to give yourself some unconditional self-love because true self-love is unconditional, not dependent on how well you're performing, not dependent on how much applause you're getting from everyone around you or how much validation you're giving, really not dependent on any external factors, rather just saying, I love myself no matter what, whether I perform well, whether I do the right thing. Because if you can have that as a fundamental building piece, all of a sudden, that unnecessary pressure, that tension that you think you probably need in order to perform, will actually fade away. And what you'll find is that everything happens a lot smoother. All of a sudden, you don't have to try as hard. Now, this might be weird and alien to you because most likely, if you're anything like the average person, you have to tell yourself that there's something wrong with you so that you can be motivated to push forward. It doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to buy into that and you can choose a different path. It's just uncomfortable probably because you've never tried it before. So simple way of doing it right now is just to look in the mirror, literally go do it if you have one near you or make sure you do it at least once today. Look in the mirror, look yourself in your dominant eye. So for most people that will be looking right into your own right eye, make eye contact with yourself here in the mirror and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. And see if it's uncomfortable. See if you feel a little bit of resistance because if you do, then yes, this is gonna take some work. You can keep repeating that exercise and in and of itself, it will transform how you feel about yourself without believing it, without having the right uh, mindset as you're doing it, right? You can just do it and it will transform the way that you feel about yourself over time if you haven't started on that path already. If when you say it, you actually feel quite comfortable and relaxed, then that means you're already on the right track. Of course, there's always room for improvement, but if you have that baked in, to your mindset, 
to your psychology, then what you'll find is that you don't need to push and shove and create this motivation, you know, really difficult to make yourself do the right thing. Instead, it's like, yeah, whatever I want, I align with it. I know what I need to do. I execute, I follow through. Simple, no resistance, ease and flow. That's how it's supposed to be.